Take a moment to grab a pen and some paper and I'm going to show you another easy doodle. You're going to start off by making a shape. It does not matter what the shape is, it can be anything. And then you're going to build off of this one with more of the same type of shape, whatever it is that you drew. And you can make this as big as you want, just keep going. Then you're going to go back and basically repeat the whole process by making lines inside of these shapes that just gradually get smaller. This is the best part because you can just completely zone out and relax your mind and unwind and just kind of get lost in this little doodle. And that's all there is to it. There's your design. Doodles for your notebook. With cute animals and things. I know you don't want me around. Your smile Have is fun. a lady and you make me feel like Here's a quick and easy doodle you can doodle even if you're not a doodler. You can really draw on anything. Start by doodling a big C, and then do a smaller C inside. Whoa, you've already got a crescent moon. Put a vertical line on the right, and then a little jagged line in the middle. The mountains are very easy to draw. Just lines down for the ridge lines and little details. From there, scribble in a little pine tree. Now you're an expert doodler, but even if you weren't... Hey guys, so I'm bringing back the quick doodle tutorials, this time cottagecore edition. Here is how I draw a mushroom. I start it with a cylinder base, add a rounded triangle for the top, and then an elongated oval inside at the bottom, connect it with all these lines, add polka dots, and there you go. Let me know what I should draw next. <laughs> I have no idea Muslims couldn't draw living things, but I have something for you. Grab a pen, we are drawing a night circus ice cream cone. Okay, this is way easier than it sounds, trust me. Draw five sides, it's gonna look like a ring pop, but it's not a ring pop. And then beneath these five sides, draw a cloud shape. I like to add a lot of swirls to my cloud. I love swirls and I got a little carried away on the right side, so I just balanced it out over on the left side here. I did allow myself to get messy with these. We are still drawing beautiful trash after all. Then beneath this cloud, we are going to add the cone. And of course, make those lines bold. Everything looks better when it's bold. I'm filling in some stripes and shading in each side. And of course, we can't forget a set of cherries on top. I'm loving this combination of sharp angles with messy swirls. Last, I'm going to add a star pattern in the ice cream. And if you like this art style, follow me on Instagram at savannalore.
Disney, Disney, they tricked me, tricked me Had me wishing on a shooting star But now I'm twenty-something I still know nothing about who I am or what I'm not So call me a pessimist, but I don't believe in it Finding a true love's case is bullshit Cause I felt sad, love, I felt bad Four. Try this. Start with three dots. Draw three triangles on the dots. Connect each line and extend. But now what? Let them merge. Keep going. This is going to be a good one. Hit the plus button. Wanna add the melting effect to your doodles? Remember to alternate with sizes and create the drop effect by widening the ends. You should try this really easy and cute doodle idea. Make a string of dots. Then just connect each dot with a bunch of lines like this. The more lines, the better. Make each shape that you connect it with just slightly different from the rest. When you're done, you're left with this really cool effect.